All right, welcome back. Well, solar energy offers immense potential to transform in Nigeria's energy landscape. Several critical challenges must be tackled to fully harness its benefits. By addressing the high upfront investment costs, limited access to financing and infrastructure, inadequate policy and regulatory frameworks, and the technical skills gap, Nigeria can overcome these barriers and pave the way for a sustainable and prosperous solar energy future. Now, Prince Dr. Darlington Alozi, Senior Special Advocate of Culture, Justice, Peace and Development Africa, joins me now for more discussions. Many thanks for joining us on Business Insights. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's talk about solar energy. Well, let's just get the basics before we get into what you're doing and how Nigeria and the youth can uh, get uh, something out of it. So, like I said in the intro, uh, solar energy has enormous potential to, you know, boosting almost every part of the economy, but it's as though uh, we have not really taken the bull by the horns and then Africa, Nigeria specifically, you know, is still way behind in terms of utilizing solar. Why is that so? Uh, because the awareness and the, um, the programs of solar has not yet been inculcated much or impacted much in the economic society, the mm. consumers. We have the local understanding of uh, local electricity, traditional electricity and all mm. that. But solar energy is something that uh, is a form of energy that has shocked the world. It is a clean energy. Mm. It uh, is very eco-friendly and it makes life easy if you mm. understand it. So why it's been very epileptic in Nigeria mm. is uh, Nigerians have not really understood because of the substandard, substandard productions of some, produ some devices mm. makes Nigerians kind of Week to it, but mm. when you uh, spend enough money in solar installations, you will enjoy solar. Okay. Now, but the education of the economy or the business of solar in Nigeria, mm. the installation, the maintenance, the productions, is not. We are focused on politics. We are mm. focused on our own everyday life, and we want some Nigerians. You know, we like good things. We like comfort mm. life, but how to work about it from the grassroots is the problem. So mm. when something has already been researched about, we want it. Mm. But what I want is the industrial grassroots of that solar mm. program and energy and all that. So okay. for now, uh, Nigerians are not much aware, but mm. I know they are aware. But most of the things I'm going to talk about, I'm talking about, mm. is not in aware. Okay. I think so, yeah. Okay, before we get into all of that and the awareness level, uh, let's talk about Africa, Nigeria, generally, you know, post-colonialism and the industrial drive. It's as though we are not, uh, are we being held back or is it um, a cultural thing or is it a thing by the West or why are we not getting to our full potentials? What's the issue really? To be honest, Justin, um, this, this particular issue is an issue that I am very, very personal about. I'm mm. taking it personal. If you see my struggle in advocacy since 2015, delved into Nigeria 2017, I've been here since that time. But following the trend of the economic um, bastardization of Africa, mm. Africa has a limit. According to the principles of post-colonial days and the government of the colonial government, and I know that Europeans are the forefront of colonial masters that came into Africa. Africa has a limit of a limit of development. And they are, they are watched, they are guided. So you can't tell me that there are certain businesses that should be in Africa that are not in Africa. Mm -hmm. Not that we can't get them, just that we've tried to get them. And the policies and the principles can't allow you to get them. And you know that it's targeted for a reason. Mm -hmm. And you can see that our people are starving economic, economically. And mm -hmm. because there's an economic genocide here. And the British can't tell me that they don't know what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Americans can't lie to me on the face that they don't know what's going on here. We are being economically bullied. Is this some sort of conspiracy? Yes, yes. I will tell you vividly that is uh, uh, Europeans don't mean well for African people, and Nigerian people must be aware of this. And yet, uh, there are so much talk about um, you know what they are doing in terms of um, economical um, development and support that they bring in from the West to you know down south here. Yes, the point is, if you follow the West mm. by the words, you will be deceived on the media. If you follow the actions of the West by what they've done and what they would do. It is not hopeful. There's no hope there. What you see is indirect rule system, you see. So the, the politicians who should make laws that will develop Africa mm. can't because they are being influenced indirectly. Yeah. You see, when you delve into power and influences, you understand that 
I don't want, I may not want to give you something, but my actions may prove I want to give you this. Mm. But I also may not may want to give you this. My action may prove that I don't want to give you this. So I want to get it back. Yeah, and back yes, it exactly. So if you look at what has happened, the antecedents of the past economically, mm. you realize that Africa has limit of productivity mm. into the world. And Africa is being centered to be receiving. Mm. So the industrialization policy for the Europeans is against Africa. Mm. And there are certain businesses that shouldn't be here. And that is why I'm using my position at the moment mm. to make sure that I bring some businesses to Africa. Mm. Remember, a valuable nation has valuable people, mm. valuable businesses. Mm. To create valuable business in Nigeria, we need to start training people and empowering them so right. that tomorrow the businesses will start creating values and people mm. will come here to buy things that we are buying today. Mm. I remember Malaysia, we are at some point coming to pick up different species of palm front, palm fruits and all that. Now they are one of the largest exporters of palm oil. Mm. But whereas we have the grand soil here. So go ahead. Okay, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna link all of that uh, with the press conference that you had on Sunday. You know, they're all interrelated. And specifically you have some plans to bring it back home so Nigeria and indeed Africans can actually be like a hub in terms of a uh, solar energy, uh, uh, clean energy, and uh, you talked about some sort of um, training and empowerment that you are doing. Can you just uh, throw more light on that? Yeah, um, I have a brand of solar uh, do called Dot Solar. Uh, that Dot Solar has an, uh, a training program mm. of uh, uh, enrolling students who are capable and who are willing mm. and interested to be in the solar industry. You see, mm. you, by the end of the two-year short program, it's a short course, a career course, a professional mm -hmm. course, you can learn the business of solar, the production of solar, the tr maintenance and other trainings of solar. Mm. If you want to go into branding or having merging or being an international agent of companies, you see, you have to also come for the training. So mm. this training is offered by me for, my, for everybody not limited. No one is limited for it. So it's so open to It's all. open to everybody because solar industry is growing. It's open growing to as in uh, both young students or what uh, category specifically? Well, the, the priority the priority category group is uh, young youth. Okay. Yeah. So now we are going to be careful. If you want to join as a market, that's different. But okay. if you want to be part of the organization mm. as a youth, it's open for you. Mm. But then you have to go to an assessment because mm. there are some people who may not have the scientific knowledge. Mm. but they are inclined technically. Mm. So you have to consider certain people in that position. But if you come hi highly recommended by a particular group or a community that you guys, you are very good in you know, technical things, you mm. yeah, will bring you in because the brain works with the hand. You see. So we need people, who, whether they speak good English or not, but mm. we can train them. If a mechanic, a roadside mechanic who didn't go to university and can couple and couple an engineer, an engine of a car. It means that uh, anybody can learn um, maintenance and skill acquisition mm -hmm. by whether you went to school or not going to school. But basically, there are, there are, there are distinctions or there are peripheries for mm -hmm. people who at least got the basic knowledge. You mm -hmm. see, you can go into research, you can go into productions, mm -hmm. and also go into digital marketing of some mm -hmm. devices. But we, at the end of the training, must empower you to be able to produce or learn how to make solar panel mm -hmm. or research how to get raw materials for solar mm -hmm. panels and so we can tomorrow boost off uh, one product or what device that Nigeria is doing. Okay, is this basically for just Nigeria or for Africa? Or what is it's Nigerian because charity begins at home. Okay. So for, my, for me, the, the priority country for now, other countries are interested like okay. Ghana. I was in Ghana last, mm -hmm. last year until about three weeks ago I came back. They embraced this um, idea and mm. they, they want to be part of it because it's a youth engagement mm. um, initiative. So mm. they want to be part of it, but um, it's basically for Nigerians. Mm. And I want Nigerian people to come out and, and I want government to come in and say, okay, how do we engage the youth? Because when you go down to the streets, when, when I come to the, this area, the studio, it's, it's, it's different mm. from the the outer view of mm. Nigeria. Okay. Nigerians are actually and actually suffering. Mm. And if you've taken time to drive within the communities of other parts of Lagos, you see that these people are mentally drained, walking like, people are walking like are zombies. Mm. They're not, I pity my people. I, I nearly shed tears here at the time. Yeah. And I'm like, why are we targeting these people? Why are we starving them? Yeah. Why is the government starving Nigerian people? Nigerian youths are disengaged, disfranchised from mm. economic involvement. There are some programs that can 
involve the youth like this solar, empower them tomorrow. They will not beg money for any from anybody mm -hmm. because there's, the industry is rich. You mm. see, so creating an industry for solar business and solar production in Nigeria yeah. as a sector mm. will have an independent approach and help Nigeria check substandard production mm. of solar devices. Because mm. some solar companies don't really care. Mm. They just want to import, send the money, import. How mm. can we afford solar? Mm. And I believe sun is for everyone. Mm. And just natural yeah, just natural sun. So I, government should even see solar as, as a kind of solace mm. to the national electricity that we already have and channel mm. the solar electricity to okay. other development okay let's talk uh, before we get into other aspects very quickly now you said you say it is a two-year training and um from our pre-chat i understand that um part of the training will be here in nigeria and um yes just, yes uh, tell us. just like the solar international institute of uh research and solar development will offer you one year course mm. but within that one year course if you're in the production department mm. you have to spend six months with us mm. then you go spend one and one year six months okay. abroad i'm joining you with solar production companies and research companies who are interested in partnering with me mm. join them over there for six months or one year course depending on what portfolio you agreed mm. to be if mm. you want to be a digital marketer if you want to be an agent if you want to be a solar agent marketing solar marketing agent you don't need to there are some limitations you okay. we can train you here and then get you involved over there to know right. them yeah speaking of solar marketing let's get into that uh, before we look at other aspects and quickly uh there is some sort of site that uh Nigerians could actually benefit from at the end of the day they can um, you know order at um, some of these uh, panels um, at some you know well I say discounted rates and um, enjoy um, the benefit of um, shipping together and all of that so how does that really work because it's something Nigerians will actually benefit from. yes um, I out of this circumstance this situation of Nigeria mm. and out of circumstances I built a website I designed mm. a website that will enable Nigerians to shop online mm. and choose solar devices of their choice mm. and and on that website you choose the company some people can afford dhl mm. some people can afford cargo niger dora logistics or other local companies that are there logistics. now they are all on that platform mm. now if you can afford this thing this um this transport for shipping companies mm. you buy cheaper and send to them they will bring you back for you mm. but the problem is Anyway, there's no problem because I've <laughs> taken care of it. Mm. The, the, the challenge may be custom duties, mm. the, which is one of the things the government of Nigeria need should have to, to, yeah, need to address. Mm. Because most of the companies complain the import duties and the export duties of their companies makes things difficult mm. and affects the almost price. almost like 100% of what you Yeah, yeah. You yeah. So, but still on, whatever you buy on the website is never to be compared with when you buy on the local shop. So, but on that same website, there's a group shipping option, mm. which allows you to join your product with other people mm. to bring it back home because these companies are not here okay. they are all in their own various countries mm. so with the group shipping option you can bring your things you can buy solar ceiling fans and mm. air conditions and solar table fans and office table portable fans mm. which will help you promote your comfort at home help your kids mm. and even some schools and hospitals yeah. you see so this is the thing that that's that's why the platform is designed for mm. so you can it's just like Jumia. You mm. can independently go there, shop. Like an e then, e so e an e-commerce website. So when, when you're done, mm. when we are done achieving the result of the online market, mm. we we'll now work with the government to mm. get us a physical structure or a landmark where we can build solar markets. So this company's product can be there. Okay. That's not just that. We also have plans to organize the first solar exhibition of uh, products. Yeah. So it will attract capital investors here because we want to, I want to bring solar companies for them to have an exhibition program mm. in Nigeria. And that will make us have more value mm. in terms of the consumption of solar because people are not much educated about it. If you educate them and subsidize it for them, I think they will buy it because solar is something that everybody should have. Right. You see what I mean? Some, some people in the local communities are struggling because of light, epileptic mm. power supply. But most NGOs can buy and subsidize these things and send to them. All you right. see what I mean? So, yeah. go on. Speaking of support now and support structure, now what are you looking at in terms of um, support, uh, maybe from the government, from um, not-for-profit organizations? What do you expect to get or what are you hopeful of? Well, what I'm hopeful of getting is um, setting the website is just the first stage of mm. bringing people on board, mm. right? 
as soon as the website is on board, they mark their sales. And I intend to, my own support, I know I expect support, but my own support is to channel 50% of the proceeds of the mm. website to National School Feeding Program mm. as my own giving back to the site, you see. Okay. But the rest of it, it's channeled into training and skill acquisition of solar and industrial mm -hmm. production of devices here. Mm. Then if the government want to help me, there are companies and foreign companies who are bringing their products here without being checked or if it's been checked. Mm. But I think they are scamming the system or if they are not scamming the system, they are exploiting the system. If they are not exploiting the system, they are taking advantage of the system. If they are not taking advantage of the system, then the exporters or the importers mm. are doing that. Okay. Because I can't see the reason why someone this is product, actually yeah, someone, someone is doing that. So you need to check the industry, mm. assess it create it and monitor it mm. so that we know solar products are coming in which company do we know the, what is your interest in nigeria so this, this, this companies has to yeah. be present in nigeria mm. by being a representative or being or having an agent mm. who, who can talk to right. about the sub, sub performances of their product or mm. the sub productions of them so anything we see that is wrong we see, but you can't be shipping things right. that we're not seeing your presence and it is something that we use at home mm. and that we need to be careful of because most of the devices could be dangerous there needs to be some sort of a regulation. yes so there has to be a regulation mm. or i know if the federal government may but i want an independent regulation mm. because it's a big industry mm. that could change the society the face yeah of yeah Okay, speaking of we speaking about um, energy and um, the solar energy specifically, uh, there are also talks of um, uh, substandard um, solar panels that have um, been uh, found their way into the country. And um, what exactly is the future for solar energy in terms of um, can households uh, maybe in the next two to five years be able to afford solar energy for personal use at home? Um. What I think is Nigerians or solar, solar energy is quite a simple energy device to use. But the consumption of solar at homes mm. has to do with maybe if you want it, mm. how you want it, and where you want it. Some okay. want it in their businesses, mm. right? Now, if, let's say, companies want to uh, bring in solar production or solar devices here am i right mm. and they want to maybe, maybe am i losing the question am i losing the question or the, the question was um you know what um the the future is even um, the household can be able to afford solar in the next five years and what can we do about substandard um uh, solar panels that have been or uh, found their way into the country if let me start from the substandard mm. production products that are found their way here there's nothing that happens here that Nigerian man does not know, or a Nigerian man is not involved. Mm. However, it comes in here, Nigerian custom knows about it. However, it comes in there, somebody is here working as an agent for them. Mm. And we are not checking these things, it's going to affect us tomorrow. Mm. When we now want the real things, we will be getting the fake things. Mm. And it's not going to work because people, most people are complaining about solar. Now, because we are not checking this thing, inflow of these products here, and that is why it's giving the business market a bad name. Mm. Now, if, for instance, you, we, we, let's say GSM started a SIM card, we used to know that it, it was sold for 50, 45,000 mm -hmm. at some point. And after many years, we are now offering, you are now getting the SIM card 1, 5, 1,000 naira. So what's the point of exploiting the people all those years and making it cheap? It's a competition, mm -hmm. that's nonsense. So we need to put the people's value first. Mm -hmm. So substandard production. I know Nigeria, Nigerian people, somebody said in the flight that Nigeria doesn't have standard. I said, no, it is the leaders of Nigeria who doesn't have standard. Mm -hmm. Every Nigerian banker wants to use something that will give him durable, mm -hmm. you know, durable use pl platform. But mm -hmm. an average Nigerian on the street, uneducated or fast, mm -hmm. want it fast. So, because the money is not there. So, the accommodation, what you said about the home, if families cannot mm. so afford to buy they this. They'll be able to afford it maybe in the next five years or in the future or so. If they can afford it in the next five years. Yeah, because right now it's as though it's elitist. Not yes, it's elitist. Anyone can actually afford yes. solar panels. Yes. So, in five years, am I forecasting that people yes. can afford it? Yes, the future, yeah. Definitely, people can afford it because once, the, the economy of the nation is very, 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 very poor at the moment mm. and no mo, not many people can boost of acquiring solar for their own comfort for their businesses mm. but if you are an investor 
or a businessman who understands that you need solar for certain things, mm. you will spend the money to buy. But, but some economic families who are struggling, mm. who in the next five years, they might not afford it even. Mm. Because to see chop is a problem for them. Mm. Yeah? Now, agencies or this organization, if you're part of us, mm. or if you're part of the organization, if you're a member of the organization, yeah. there are subsidized prices that you can offer. Or you can be paying mm. little little mm. gradually gradually but maybe we, we want a full house installation we'll give offer you 60 percent or we'll give you 60 percent of the money so when you receive the 60 percent we'll install you your house every month you pay mm. now that's not even that i have plans to bring in solar companies to build mega solar power stations mm. so we can tap from the current and pay monthly as well just like Nepal, just like we're having with local light generation companies yes, yes, so yes. these things can make and cement power permanently okay okay for sake of time as we round off right now still looking at um, the empowerment that you are talking about and the young people how can people get on board this okay when the website is finally hosted mm. there's a part of the website that will take you to become a member of the solar marketing organization mm. so on that you see options of you want to be a trainee student you want to be a marketer you want to be I, an international agent for solar companies, you see the options. Okay. All right, so um, your last word on this uh, for the government, uh, for the future of Africa in terms of um, solar. Okay. My advice, not the last word, my advice, <laughs> <laughs> my advice for the government yes. is for them to see Nigerians as people, valuable people. Yeah. Think about, put them first, yeah. think about their comfort, think about how to make life easy for them because yeah. right now, Life is not easy for them. Not at all. Now, I expect Nigerians also to support this website because mm. of the policies of my interest to develop mm. them through this solar and also to uh, allow the government to take some part of responsibilities to train mm. the people that will be interested. Okay. So I want the government to create me an arm that could check, that could allow me carry out independent assessment of yeah. these things. Even the ones that are currently selling mm. need to be checked. Mm. Even the ones that want to import, even the ones on the container, mm. they all have to go through the same scrutiny to make sure that the standard is standard. So for companies to know that we are working, so they can now make sure that products are governed because it's their product, is their research product. Mm. So this research cannot just go like that. We have to maintain it, put discipline to it, and then bring in the right companies, they'll sell. Then every month you can, actually pay just like you pay your bill right. so there's nothing special about solar other than the devices are being produced by companies and the people are not aware about it mm -hmm. now the people that are aware are buying it very expensive but if it's a national problem or if it's a sorry, national concern yeah. and the government has delved into it to make solar program and education very affordable for people so the production of solar device is imminent in nigeria at some point right, thank you so much thank you very much so, um, Darlington Lozzi for your time and uh, we wish you all the best and um, of course all the necessary support to pray and hope that the government and of course a uh, well-meaning Nigerians and organization you know uh, buy into all of that as we go so because Nigeria indeed needs to be a hub in terms of all of this um, development sure sure we'll say a very big thank you to you yesterday. thank you very much thank you Justin thank you so much all right we have been looking at um, grassroots development uh, and empowerment through solar uh, marketing solar production in Nigeria and uh, of course how Nigeria can be a hub and I was joined by Prince Dr. Dr. Darlington Alozi, he is the Senior Special Advocate of Cultural Justice, Peace and Development for Africa. That's the size of the show for today. My name is Justin Akadonye. Many thanks for being there.